Hey guys, so this is Princess, and I've got her wings tucked in a little bit right now so that they're not sticking out, but here's her wings. Um, now let's talk about what causes, well firstly let's talk about Princess. So Princess was my only goose hatched out of uh, four eggs that were sent to me last year. Um, she is the sister to Reggie. They are related. They are from the same flock. Um, so they're the they're, they're sisters. Um, you can see that she's got modeling around her face up here, just like Reggie. She's about a year old now. And she very much does not want to be here um, with me holding her. This is her calm <laughs> uh, after, after a few minutes of trying to really calm her down. And get her comfortable but you can see she's kind of leaning off to the side here not really wanting to wanting to be around me <clears throat> so princess has something called angel wing and it's where the last knuckle of the wing oh, oh sit down <coughs> nope, 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 nope. <coughs> i know i know i know it's oh god it's just so terrible um <clears throat> anyway <laughs> so princess has something called angel wing and it's where the last knuckle of the wing tilts outward um, you can see on a normal bird, it's supposed to be like this, but hers, it rotates out. And this is caused by basically too much junk in their food. And it's totally my fault, uh, unfortunately. Uh, she was hatched during a time when it was cold outside and I kept her on a uh, chick starter a little bit too long. And unfortunately, once it starts, the only way to really solve it is to band them and try to uh, keep that last knuckle tilted inward. Um, but I know with the way that her, uh, her attitude is, she's not gonna let me do that. So that's not gonna happen. Uh, so Princess will have Angel Wing for the rest of her life. It does not affect how she, um, how she acts, how she interacts with other people, it does not affect her quality of her life. Um, <clears throat> it's important to note that it's caused by too many carbohydrates uh, or too much protein. I'm pretty sure it's carbohydrates uh, in the feed. Uh, this is this is actually why you don't feed uh, Canadian geese or any ducks in your pond uh, bread because it causes this uh, and can can cause them to not be able to fly. Uh, north or south or any of that stuff uh, or escape predators so it looks way worse than it is uh, but that's uh, that's angel wing and she has it on both wings but like I said they're both kind of they're tucked in see that but overall she's a good goose She's a pilgrim as well. She doesn't make a whole lot of noise and she's not mean. Like most geese, she likes her scratchies. So this is actually a good opportunity to show you that geese uh, like to have their back scratched. So you get your fingers underneath their wings like this and you scratch their back and they really enjoy it. Now, if you've never seen a oil gland, uh, all waterfowl have an oil gland and it's right here at the base of the tail. Right here, you can kind of see it looks a little dirty. So that's oil. That is what they use to waterproof their feathers. So they take that and they rub their face all over it. It's like a little oil paintbrush. And then they rub their face all over the rest of their body. And that helps them become waterproof. And even my hands are kind of greasy, like slick. This is why it's important that you don't give these guys a bath or allow them access to water for the first uh, month or two of their life if you're breeding them. Because that oil gland isn't active yet and they can get waterlogged and drown. 
So this is actually another opportunity to get Princess's footprints for one of my viewers and uh, stamp them on a piece of paper so I can finally send out the uh, little memento that I promised him. And uh, hopefully he can have something to, <laughs> uh, I guess, remember Princess by, even though, you know, he doesn't have to remember her. Just something to enjoy. So you can see she's kind of accepted me at this point. She is scared. She's tucking her head in. Princess, there's nothing to be scared of, honey. Come on. It's also a good time to show you geese teeth, uh, Tomia, if she'll let me do it. So you can see in there, those teeth, they are uh, a lot like hacksaw blades. See that? And if you look at the tongue, if she'll let me get that tongue, you see it's got a little bunch of little spines on it too. And what that does is it helps them filter mud and water and get all the little crustaceans and stuff out of it. Uh, it also helps them to tear and uh, eat uh, plants. So they use them like little little scissors. Uh, they rock their, their beaks back and forth like this and cut. It works really well. They're really sharp. I've had, it, uh, had them do it on my thumb and fingers and stuff, and it is not pleasant. Uh, it feels exactly like you think it feels, like a saw. So... She seems to actually kind of be enjoying this now. Don't you, princess? Yeah, you're a good goose. Yes, you are. She's a good goose. She hears her friends. Don't you? You hear your friends? So geese also have ears. Uh, duh, right? But if you look right here, you see that little bit of feathering that looks different? That's actually their ear hole, where it's covered. You can kind of see down in there. See that hole? So they do have ears. Big ears. They can hear very well. And their sight is very uh, uh, impressive, too. They can actually see we can see like red, green, blue, or we have, their, you know, what, three cones. Uh, they have four, so they can see many, many different uh, shades of green. It actually helps them pick out the food they want to eat. So to you and I, uh, you know, a piece of grass may look the same, uh, but to them, it does not. It looks way different. Now these feathers on their neck... You might be thinking, wow, that looks soft. And it is. It's extremely soft. Now, goose down. The thing you fill your uh, jacket with comes from the breast of the goose up here. It's very dense and very warm. I wouldn't recommend looking up how they get goose down. Uh, it's very, very cruel. Uh, in fact, you probably shouldn't buy goose down anything. Come here. I know, I know, I know. Okay, okay. Oh, you're done. You're done. Aren't you? You're so done. Throw that temper tantrum. I know. I know. Okay. We'll return you. Let's go. Come on. I'll get her footprints later. I'll catch her again in a little while. She's ready to go back. So now you see the way that I'm holding her here. This doesn't hurt them at all but it keeps them from flapping and beating the shit out of me with her wings. So, here you go, honey. There she goes. All right, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And thanks for watching. See ya.